Hello everybody, I'm just setting up. Hello Kevin. Hello Frinton. Hello Michael. Where is the thing now? Why is it telling me to turn off? I don't want to turn off. Go away. Right, you're going to have to sit there for a bit. Just look out at the run. While I set up.
Come here. There you go. Right. How do I wrap this up? That goes there. Like that. No, it doesn't. Like that. And that one goes like that. Right. Come on. I'm trying to untangle a rig. It would help if I knew what the rig was. I know what I thought it was. Really? Well, that's not what I thought it was. Oh well, we're going for this today then. Ha! Oh, I love my brain sometimes. Talk about messed up. Uh, do you know what? I'm not going to go for that. I've just realised something. I don't like that clip on there. Let's try something else. That's cool. What we got over here? What's that? So that is... No, those clips are better. Yeah, I noticed I had a Gemini clip, and I didn't want to use a Gemini clip here. So I'm putting my underwater camera out. I don't want it to slip off the Gemini. What's this one? Right, that'll do. Right, what we got here? Right down there. Cool. What we got here? Main line up here. Cool. Main line here. Cool. That little clip it can come off there. This one, cool. That one can clip on there. Now all I needed to do is get the weight on it. Now, I was going to try a five ounce. Where's my weights there? Yeah, I don't want to try a six yet. We'll try a five to start with. Let's see what that does. I'm nearly ready to put some bait on the hooks. Yeah, but that's not going to work either. Nope. Plan B. Good job I've got lots of plans A's and B's, you know. Right, that's good. Right. Bait needle. Oh yeah, that'd be in the bait needle box down there. Never marked
Right, I'm all baited up. Are you with you in a minute? Hello, and welcome to another episode with the Autistic Angler. Today, I'm trying out the uh, Von Thompson Accelerator. Today, I'm trying out the Von Thompson Today, I'm trying out the Von Thompson Axe. And I've also There you go. I've also got my camera. I'm using the bait that I was kindly donated from John. So if you're watching John, thank you very much. I'm just about to do my first cast. Because I've got the uh, the camera on, I thought I'd better limit it to a five ounce. So today it all adds up to eight ounces. So we'll see what happens. Did we know I had all those hooks on? That passed out lovely. So we we'll just see what happens now. There's a, a bit of light rain falling, and there's a bit of a blow from the north. I haven't got a clue if I'll get any bites, so we'll see what happens. Right, hello everybody. We've got the first uh, bait in the water now. Hello Rich, I'm fine. Hello to everybody I haven't said hello to, sorry about that, I was just setting up. I don't know what to do with you actually. Can I connect you up? Ooh! Ooh, hang on a minute. Bear with me. I've just got a silly idea. I'm just turning you upside down, I'm going to connect you to the roof of the uh, shelter. See if it can be stable enough. 
Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. It didn't like that. Yes, I did. Thank you, Rich. Right. I better put you on the tripod. I'm using ragworm tipped with squid. Yeah, that's not good. Let me move you again. I've got the tripod for the big camera, so you're on the Hobie camera tripod. Yeah, the dog's getting worse. Actually, no, I can't put you on there either. The trouble is with this Hobie Gorilla, it hasn't got a swivel on the top. The tide's coming in. It should be in in about three hours. And I haven't got a clue if I'll catch anything at all. But I've got a load of bait out, so you never know your luck. Hello, Kev, sir. Hello, the useless angler. And I have no idea what the bite indication is like on that rod. We'll have to wait and see. I wonder if I should just put you on the tripod. Because at least if you're on the tripod, I can see what you're all saying. But then I want to do video, so I don't know. I might just leave it like this at the moment. Hello, John. Yeah, I reckon this uh, tri this accelerator will chuck out some some big nice baits. But I thought I'd try it with the camera and see what happens. So all you can do is try things out. I've never tried this spot before. It's worth trying. I had a look on Navionics and it's quite deep here. So I will see. No bikes in the first five minutes anyway. Yeah, it is slightly heavy, but it's fine. Because it's a rough ground rod. I haven't got a clue. It all depends where my father-in-law wants to go. Hello, Christoph. I forgot to count the hooks. I think it was a three-hook flapper I had on... Or, yeah, it was a three-hook flapper on top of the uh, one-hook bit I had for the camera. So it looks like I've got four hooks out. 
Hello. What's going on there? There you go. Sorry about that. So the rain's stopped for the moment. Sorry, let me just move that so I can see. Hello, King Mark. A lot of birds singing out here today. What are those? Finches of some sort. Green finches? I can't see. They're some of visitors, whatever they are. Yeah, I quite like the look of this, Mark. It all depends on how well it fishes. Wow, 50 people watching and 25 likes already. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate your support. I guess I need to get another tripod like the one I've got for the big rod. That's the big camera. So there's the big camera. What's it called? A Zomi. Yeah. Hello. I had a tractor. I wondered if the uh, the boat people were putting a, a boat in, but they're not. Oh, whatever. So down on the buddy pipe, sorry, the East Full Out Full Pier, there's nobody, nobody fishing there today. Thank you. Okay. Well, I thought I'd do a live because I, I haven't been doing a lot of videos or going live recently because I've had a lot to do at home because my son moved out with his girlfriend. Took a lot of effort to, to move them out, but they're settling in quite nicely anyway. Yes, I am. Just the one rod. Because it's a tryout with the accelerator. And because it's a new spot, because it's a new spot, I thought I'd be tempting fate if I had two rods. But I think I've only got enough bait for the for the one rod for the session. Yeah, the kids have all gone back to school, haven't they? So this isn't looking good, I haven't had a single bite. I would have thought there would be school bass hanging around. This is the entrance to Langston Harbour, which is a nursery area. There's millions of bass up there. So I thought there might have been something. You've got to be in it to win it, haven't you? Keeping an eye on the tip, because I haven't got a clue what the uh, bite indication is on this rod. Do you know what I could do? I could stick... No, that's no good, because you wouldn't see the rod if I stuck you on the actual Shakespeare tripod. Thank you very much. Well, it's daytime. We don't normally catch a lot around here during the daytime. Not until the summer, anyway. But I wanted to come out so I could see what I was doing with the rod. To see how far it was casting.
I've got a reason to believe it's not a snag here, but no evidence yet, as it's my first time here. Tip's moving very slightly, I guess it's the current. There seems to be a big back head eddy down there where I'm fishing. Because it, it goes right up and then it back eddies all the way back down to the, the jetty. And if there's anything out there, they should try and eat it. Just be a case of waiting to see if it's out when they swim by. I think I quite like this little spot. Might have to do some more excursions to here and see what it see what it produces. Some dogs around, but my bait's all up off the floor. It's in the bucket just there. So that should be okay. I'm going to put you on the ground for the moment, though. As there's dogs approaching. So you can sit down there. Or oh, something like that. No, not like that. Yeah, you can sit something like there and just watch the water. Actually, you can sit that way. And watch something else. Well, I'll do a bit to the camera. So the bait's been out there for about 10 minutes. No sign of action yet. So I've got four hooks out, so I put a three hook flapper above the uh, camera rig. So I'm hoping there should be something coming in, but as it's daytime, you never know. So I'm fishing in the entrance to the Langston Harbour. And we call it the run, because it absolutely gallops out. And there's a big, big back eddy there where I'm fishing because it goes rushing up the harbour and it comes down. And the back eddy goes right down. It goes through the jetty there to the old jetty, which is a concrete one. It swirls around as well down there. So I'm fishing up here till high tide or until the bait runs out. So I did my bit to camera and picked this up and it said try again. So sorry about that, it dropped out obviously. Oh I haven't got a battery thingy connected to you. I suppose I better do that hadn't I? I was just thinking the battery power is going. Don't know what happened there, bombed out again. Hello Valerie. I've just connected you, there you go. Oh, go away. I've just connected you to the uh, battery pack. Let's just have a look. Excuse me for flapping around. Yeah, it's charging now. Only 43 of you watching now. Did I say something wrong? Hello, Timothy. Thank you very much. Yeah, exactly, Christoph. All right, Steve. Yeah, I haven't got any blow lug with me today. Because I was given this bait from John last night. Well, I hope somebody must be feeding the gulls. They're all charging down there now. There's a big private, uh, there's a big free car park just there. At the back of the sewage site there. Well, I'm going to get a bite to eat, people. See if that brings the fish on.
Mrs. B keeps telling me to go and get a, um, what's it called? Diabetes test done. Because at times like now, I'll come over light-headed and giddy again. But hey, I've got a bit of food. Eat it and see what happens. A lot of birds here, so don't worry if the mod goes. Probably see one of them fly into the line. I don't think I caught a seagull last year. No, they managed to get past it. I have no idea what the clarity of the water is like for the camera today. Right on the shoreline it looks clear. I have to see when I bring the camera in, if I can bring the camera in. Now that's not good. I haven't got my glasses here. Hello Paul. I'm in the entrance to Langston Harbour. Oh, I don't know what the hell happened there. But we're back. It wasn't calm when I left, Paul. It was raining and the wind blowing. Thank you, Rich. Yeah, this stream's a bit funny for me today. I can't get you settled. Can't get it settled in a blooming um, good place. As soon as I put it on the Hobie tripod, it gets its knickers and a twist. Put it on the ground. Hello, there's a wooker wooker. Yeah, Chinook somewhere. I'm not putting it on the big one. Oh no, I've got to put it on the big one, but I want to use my big camera. Could I use my big camera? Actually. Maybe I could put it on the big camera and use the big camera as a, um... Yeah. Thank you very much, Lisa. Right. I'm going to try and set you up on the, um, jobber thingy. You're going to get thrown around a bit for a minute. Because I need to get you on a more... Oh! Stupid thing. Right, you need to go that way, I think, don't you? Can you 
Can you go that way? Yes, you can. What's the matter? No, you can't. Oh, the right way to start with. Right, let's turn you around. You're back that way. So the camera fits in that hole. Is that better? That's better, Mike. Now, I need uh, a different adapter. Oh, go and walk a walk it somewhere else. Stupid thing. Right, it's going to come right over the top of us. Yeah, there it is. It doesn't look very big, but it's quite close. Yeah, anyway, well, let's sort this position of this camera out. There you go, that's better. There's the walker walker. Right, it's gone. Right, let's get this. Get this adapter screwed in. Once I've screwed this one in, like that. Oh, shut up, telling me to rotate the device. Take my big camera off there. Bring you round in front of me. And we should be able to get you in up there. What's going on? Nothing. Right, you're on the big car, it's the big tripod. There you go, bish bash bosh. Bring the rod tip into focus. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Right, so now we've just got to reconnect the. Um, What's this thing called? Battery pack. Yes, it is a lot better. Sorry about that. Like, like I said, I'm going to have to get another battery. Another battery, another tripod. Let me just reconnect you to the power pack. Hang on a second. You might get a bit of um, moving around or something. I don't know. Long way round. Right. Sorry about that. It went all pear shaped again. Let me put you back in the um, in the little thingy, job. I don't want to bloody cancel the screen. Thank goodness for that. Sorry about that, people. You should be solid now. You've got a power pack on, and you've got the thing on. And you're settled. Fifty-one watching and forty-six likes. Thank you. Thanks for your support, people. Hello, there's a little boat at the end of the pier there. Uh, it'll be uh, having to go for the bass. It's too early for the mackerel. Well, it's not too early for mackerel, to be honest. I've had them before. One year. About three years back, four years back. Every day of March, from the 1st of March onwards, I caught, back I caught mackerel. But it was only on that one year. Then in April, they disappeared. But me and another guy, don't know his name, he was a foreign chap. And the foreign chap is only because I didn't know his name, nothing else. Well, we filled our boots that year. I filled the freezer, not my boots, anyway. Right. I've connected the big camera to the Hobie Gorilla. And I'll see if that works for me better than the uh, having you connected to it. Yeah, you're, you're, you're all good now, aren't you? That's cool. I think it's just about time for me to have a check on that, those baits. Because they've been out there long enough. That's a funny little boat from here, it looks like. See, if I was into doing the video in better, I should be thinking about getting a zooming camera thing. Zooming camera thing. Bloody telephoto lens, you idiot. Oh, by the way, how's the sound today? Because I haven't got the external mic on. Is the sound all right for you people? Testing, testing, 973. Oh, whatever. Oh, it is. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lee. And thank you, Darren. 
Yep, yeah, okay, thanks everybody. Well, you are, you're in the, you're tucked at the front of the shelter, and you're in that little box as well, so you're protected from the wind. But I don't know if you can hear me very clearly, so that's fine. You said it's nice and clear, whoever that was. Thank you very much. Um, um, uh, yeah, I can't see it. Christoph, thank you. See, there's a couple of ladies there walking. They, they're holding their hoods. One of them is, so it is a bit windy down there. I haven't seen that rod tip move yet. Thank you very much, whoever said that. Uh, yeah, 1066, is that Bassman? Thank you very much. So, I've managed to settle the video down, and you're nice and rock steady now, looking at the rod tip and the entrance to the harbour, so that's cool. I've done a couple of bits to the old... Um, I'm going to do a screen... What's it called? I'm going to do a thumbnail jobber, haven't I? I didn't mean to take a picture. No, I'm betting that I'm the only idiot fishing in Portsmouth at the moment. Thank you, Gulliver. That's kind of you. Hello, Fisherholic. Gulliver, I'm fine, thank you. Just waiting for the first bite. Stupid thing. Really? Good job there's not a fish on. Yes, that's a steep bank to come up. So it retrieved all right. And let's get the camera back. And um, two of the baits have been eaten. Top 
bait untouched. Next bait, squid gone. And the worms had something had a little go at it. And the bottom two completely missing. So, fish, crabs, monsters, who knows? Shall we bring one in? We won't tell, will we? Woo wee, it's cold. Hello. There's a ball down there. Where's the squid gone? Do I leave it in this bucket? Yes, I did. Oh, whatever. Morning. Nope. Just walked my first cast in. Okay, well, good luck. So I'm just checking the chucking the second cast out.
Well, that was a rubbish cast. It slipped up my finger. But hey, it's out there. I just messed it around that blooming boy. Oh, damn, we're going to go back down here now. Yeah, I didn't mean boy, I meant that green, that post. So, it's out there. And this time, which is the mic of that red post. That was a little bit of hard work. <sighs> so we're out again. Oh, I just saw the rod tip move. I have no idea what that was. Whether it was a fish or a crab, I haven't got a clue. I'm guessing crabs on the bottom two hooks though, to be honest. That's the bait had all gone on those bottom hooks. Wish I knew what I'd done with my glasses. I've got two pairs now. A pair I keep in the tackle box and a pair I don't. And guess what? The pair I keep in the tackle box I didn't keep it in the tackle box. Oh, I saw that. That was a looked like a bite, didn't it? I just had a bite, people. 
And as it's quite a stiff rod, I'm guessing it was a fish. Probably just nicked the squid. Bit of a sharp tap. It didn't look like a um, whiting. And I know they're still around because it's reached the dyslexic angler had some the other day. But here I expect it was a little schoolie. So, I'll get back to you if anything else happens. Let's hope it does, eh? Ah, wow, that's encouraging them. Well, they're only size four hooks, so they can't be big fish. Otherwise, they would have hooked themselves. They're, they're my old size four chinos that I like using. Can't believe I've got four hooks out, though. But then why not? People chuck out baited feathers, don't they? Which in four or six, normally. And I know, um... Somebody I know chucked out about 20. And it was full up with whiting. There you go. That was a good old tug. I better get the old chest mounted phone thing jobber. Action camera thing thing. Ready then. If we're actually going to have some proper fishing today. So do we think that's a fish on the line or do we think that's just a fish pecking away? To be honest, I was not expected to catch anything today, so if that's no, look, that looks like there might be a whiting on that, doesn't it? I think we're going to have to have a look, people. We're going to have to have a look. Well, I've got to say, I'm surprised about the indication, the bite indication on this rod. I'm going to reel it in and check the bait anyway. So you can sit on the top of this hill and see me down there doing whatever I'm going to do. Right, let's go have a look then.
Just three empty hooks. Oh, I'm sure there was a fish on it. Well, we know they're there. I wonder if we'll see anything on the camera. That'd be cool if we do. Probably find such a lot of crabs though. But they look more like fish bites to me. There's a blue and great crescent dream down there. I keep seeing them in the, in the harbour. I think you can see them coming up. Where's the finger stool? Let's hope this one doesn't slip off then. Ah, uh, there's a green fish in. There must be fish there. Mind you, we know there are. They've been biting. That one accidentally right in front of the green. Let's see how great he actually is then.
Hello Sean, yes it's my uh, RTX, RTX, I was just trying it out, Sean. Yeah, you're allowed to have a, a knife in your tackle box. Right, keep an eye on that tip. Because the, the greaves out there fishing just around where I chucked it out. I had all those, uh, the greaves moved down now. It was just beyond the red post that you're looking at. I think those two are the um, marker posts for the slipway. Yeah, sure. This one's chucking out all right. I'm trying the camera out as well. So hopefully we'll see what's licking the bait, if it's clear enough. Like I say, I've never fished here before. That pier in front of you, the outfall jetty pier, I've fished there loads of times. But having a look on Navionics, it's a lot uh, steeper up here. And that walk down there is killing me on the shingle. I've sold the six and bait rod. Richard, I've sold it. So that I could buy this. It's funny, I've got a different view on this one than the six and bait. The six and bait, I thought it was worth, in my mind, a lot more money. It seemed a really fantastic rod. Though I was worried about scratching it. But this rod, because everybody calls it a cheapie because it's a Ron Thompson rod. I'm still looking after it though. Yeah, I bet they will be. Right. I chucked out a drink around here, somewhere there it is. So I've not had any, it's interesting, to the left of that red post I'm not getting any bites, to the right of it I was getting loads, wasn't I? I wonder. That's all I can do, because it makes me wonder. Right, is this charging up? I don't know, it's on 40%, I can't remember what it was on. It's got 100% on the battery pack anyway. So now I know it's 40%, I'll check it in a bit. Yeah. Is that my eyes or did that just move again? Yeah, it's a nice old winter's day out here, almost spring day. I don't know why there's nobody else out having a fish. They're probably around on the beach having to go for the place. But I wanted, wanted to try here with all the current to see how the axe works. Like I say, it's chucking out, out the eight ounces easy. Because it's rated four to six eight ounces.
Right, come on then, fish. Just be nice to have one. How you had all those bites? Actually, I'll be quite happy to see it. See if it was a fish. I don't know if the camera will focus far enough up or see the any of the other um, hooks apart from that first one. I might not even see the first one. I don't know how mucky it is out there. Don't, don't even know if the damn thing's working. Should be. I'll let you know later. If you can hear those dogs barking, they're right across the other side. Over there on the beach on Hayden Island. Greaves back. Quite close in up here. Just past the uh, post. There's a heron. Wow. Ornithology with the autistic angler. <laughs> Want to see if that grebe comes up with a fish. There it is, just there. No. He's following the eddy current down. You know, if I could just get out a little bit further than I did, I reckon there's a still bit of water there. I'm still getting used to it casting, so I'll have another go on my next cast and see. Boat coming out. Big rib, I don't think it's an R and a live one. You see some big black ribs down the other end where the marines are. What is he? He's got big engines on it anyway. Have a look when he comes past. Hang on. There's that one, isn't it? Got something written on it. I think it says police, doesn't it? I've not seen them in ribs. Now at the front of it, does that say police? I can't read. My eyes aren't particularly good. Certainly doesn't. Yeah, it's police. That's why it's a big, powerful rib there, doesn't it? 
He's got some motor in there. I bet that flies. Wonder if he's in the harbour, check, check in for people fishing for bass. Just patrolling around, I guess. Now that's a good job, isn't it? I think I'd be too tempted to just suck, chuck out some mackerel feathers on. Thank you very much, whoever said that. He says without his glasses on. No, I can't see it. One of my moderators anyway. Thank you. I thought I was organised today, you know. I thought I had everything I needed. Ah, I might be able to see that I've angled it. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, George, thank you. Are they Sean? That's what I thought. That's why I bought it. Yeah, the Greaves not having much luck. I haven't had any bites where I just chucked it either. Oh, sorry, on the next chuck, I'll give it a good hoig. See if I can get it out to where I think there's some still water. Completely forgot about the camera until last night, and I suddenly thought, oh, yeah, not just testing out the axe, I can test out the camera as well. I have a feeling it might be working. Only a feeling. Got a feeling we're not going to catch anything as well. Yeah, it is, George. Thank you, everybody. What have we got? 58 watching and 59... Uh, 56 watching and 59 likes. Thank you, people. I appreciate your support. Didn't even know anybody would be watching today. Like I say, I thought it was time to come out and give the RT Axe a go. I'm doing on time. It is something 57. Yeah, I can't see that. Oh, hang on. I've got another phone on me, haven't I? Oh, here's me trying to look at your comments up there. That's the only reason why I've got another phone in my pocket, you absolute muppet. 12.57. Cool. Right, clear all that rubbish. This phone's on 55%. Google. YouTube. Are you on 4G? Yes, you are. Brilliant. 
and here I am. Woohoo! So if I click on that, can I see the comments? Yes, you can. Certainly do, Kev, sir. Hello, Earl. No, I haven't had anything yet. I've had a couple of bites. Hello, Earl. No, I haven't had anything yet. I've had a couple of bites. Hello, Skippy. Hello, Skippy. What's this? I think this is my third cast out, isn't it? Hello, why have you got a bit of um Hello, why have you got a bit of um No I don't wanna bloody Uh that way, right. Bloody... Right there you go. Uh, that way, right. Right there you go. Yeah, it comes in quick here. Yeah, it comes in quick here. Sorry, I moved you out the mod. There it is. Okay, Earl. Okay, Earl. Okay, Earl. Where are you going, fishing pool? There you go, Kev, sir. How's that? Is that better? Nothing good. I think I'm going to wind that in and have a look. Okay, Paul, fingers crossed for you.
Yeah, I wasn't too happy where I chucked that one, so. We fight again. Let's go down the big hill. I think this is going to be another bait stealers video. There was a crab on it.
Adam. Lost the camera, people. How the hell did that happen? Yeah, I know how it happened. That stupid bloody tried and tackle rig. Not happy. What a lot of rubbish. I know, I know, before you all say it, you don't need to put one of them there. It's, it's destined to go somewhere else. Whatever. Well, that lost it as well. No. Nope. So you might be surprised to hear the camera came off. I was using the Trident Tackle Termalink. I connected it to the uh, camera. Stupid me. Right, now I've got him got by other phone. Oh, that's here. What did that say? No, Gordon, I'm not. Yes, Kev, sir. Never mind, learnt my lesson. Thank you, Andrew. So that one, just six ounce, that went a long way that time. Hey Kev sir, don't worry about it, I'm used to losing them. And it's funny, I did have that, that same old thing that I always have. That little niggling thing in my brain says, take it off and put it away. It's been out there long enough. I don't know why that echo's still going on, I've got the damn thing muted. Hello, sweet corn kid. All right, Keith. Matt, I think they're 30 quid.
No, it was the clip, mate. I just put a turbo link on to the clip for the camera. I forgot. It might possibly slip off. Never mind. I'll learn my lesson one day, won't I? Hello, Tommy. Not yet. Oh well, at least I seem to have got the chest camera thing working, the action camera, that's, that's one thing. I haven't seen Vinny for a long time. Thirteen eighteen, Kevsa. Yeah, I think I've lost four now. Rich, it's martin.bedford at live.co.uk. Salvation, I'm using the Ron Thompson accelerator. Yes, yeah, Rick Honkin, it's northerly, so... That's sheltering you, isn't it? All right, Paul. Well, uh, like I said, with my cast in, I checked that one out quite a long way. Especially considering it's uh, an RTX. I went out, went out really quite a long way. I'm not getting any bites on it. Oh, okay, Steve. We should probably be in bed, I think. I tied today is two twenty. That was a little bite. Yeah, very crabby. Yeah, I think I found out it is very crabby here. Down on the pier, it doesn't seem to be crabby there. Don't know why.
Don't really care either. Crabby it is. Never know. Fish might come along. If it sees all the crabs. Like I say, <coughs> like I say, with four hooks out, there's always a chance. Hello, is that somebody fishing down there? It looks like he is. Is he lure fishing? It looks like he is. Well, he's spinning, so I guess he's lure fishing. Lots of people lure fish along here. I've always been told it's better at low tide for them, though. Mind you, I did see somebody on the jetty down there catch a five-pound one once. Thank you, Rich. Really appreciate it, Rich. Thank you. Do you know that even could be video? I don't know. He comes up here sometimes. He doesn't seem to want to talk to me much at the moment. No, not yet, Steve. She phoned up yesterday to book a pre-op. And they haven't got back to her yet. Okay, it's warming up a bit now. Yeah, John, that's what happens. When I had mine, the next day, my arm was aching for a few days, and that was it. I think the crabs have stripped the bait again, haven't they? All right, Rich. Yeah, thanks ever so much, Rich. That's kind of you, mate. Yeah, it's a shame I lost the camera, but hey. Really? Thank you, Rich. Yeah, yeah, that looks like crabs again, doesn't it? Didn't realise there's going to be so many crabs here. Thank you, George. Yeah, 
Yeah. You're right, Sid Cup. I should have known better. When I was setting up, I took the genie link rig off. I should have thought about it when I put the trident rod on. Hey ho! It's all about learning your lessons, isn't it? <coughs> Thank you, John. You know, earlier in the session, I saw a couple of dog walkers walking down here, but I've not seen anybody else for the whole time. Oh, well, at least I know the axe is working all right. Just going to pop back to the uh, car park. I'll be, be, I'll be back in a minute.
I'm back, people.
Hello, Bay Wick Fishing. He's turned that out. Oh, Christ. Did that up tight, did I? Well, I need to move you now so that you can see the rod. There you go. I was too close to that red post down there. Oh, okay, a bit gutted about losing the camera, but hey. Can't do anything about it. So there's a couple of people turned up to fish. There's a couple of people on the jetty. There was a guy spinning on the beach. He's gone. After the crab, the baits were stripped again. So I guess it's too crabby here. No, oh well. I've had a go, and I? So, that's all you could do. So the axe is performing really well. With the six ounce, it's chucking it out a long way. But I didn't buy it to chuck out distance. I thought the current edit beer would be a good test for it. But it's, there's nothing to say. Paired up with a battle, it's bringing everything in absolutely fine and chucking it out fine. It seems to have quite a bit of poke in it. Like I say, with an eight, it was difficult to say because the eight ounce that I had on it was a combination of the five ounce weight and the three ounce camera. And I had four hooks flailing off it. So that wasn't a good indication of how it cast really, but it handled that quite well. Still chucked it out quite a way. It's, um, as to be expected, it's chunky rod, it's a bit heavy, but I didn't buy it really for around here, but I just wanted to give it a go. And like I say, it chucked out a 10 ounce, and I reckon, uh, sorry, an 8 ounce, I reckon it would go heavier than 8. It was like my 6 in bait when I had it. It cast better with a 7. This one, for me, isn't all about the casting. It's for when I go to some really rough, rough marks. So I've got some options. Yeah, I'm, I'm collecting a few rods now. I've got a boat rod coming in the post. Didn't cost me much. And it's all nearly new, so... I've got some spinning rods. I'll use the boat one on the pier as well, because it's only a seven foot one. I think it's, oh, I don't know. There was a 20 pound on it. I think it was 15 to 20 or whatever it is. I don't know. It seemed to be a middle range sort of thing, if you ask me, but I don't know my boat rods. It's just if, it, if an opportunity arises, I didn't want to have to take one of my blooming beach casters or spinning one onto a boat. I wanted to have something shorter and with more power in it than the little spinning one has. Yeah, there's two rods out on the jetty now. Right, see if I can zoom in. No, uh, you won't be able to see him, I don't think. Right at the end of the jetty, there's two chaps fishing. Oh, well. 
Wait a minute, I'm not doing anything to camera. Did I just do all that? Really? Oh, whatever. I'm not having a good day with my electronics today. Yes, I have still got the Movex. Yeah, so I've got the um, the Cobras for cleanish beaches. All right, Liz, thank you. So I've got this. I think I'd use the 14 foot for mixed ground. Because that's got a bit of poke as well. Hello, Reese. You won't be surprised to hear this, Reese, but I lost the camera again here. It came off because I was using the Thermalink, one of the Trident tackle bits. I forgot. Which is a bit stupid because I took a Genie, clink, Genie Link clip off. And I put that on. I took the Genie Link off because I've had stuff slip off it before. I really don't know why I didn't think about it. But that's my problem, isn't it? Where am I fishing? In uh, the entrance to Langston Harbour, mate. You know, Eastie. Near the, uh, the bunny pipes. I don't think I'm going to be here much longer, Reese, so don't think about coming down to see me, mate. I got here some time ago and I'm leaving some time in the future. <laughs> um, 11. I got here about 11, that's right. And I was going to stay till high tide, which is 20 past 2, or until this bait ran out that uh, I was donated yet again. Oh, are you, Reese? You're fishing for place then, are you? Well, good luck, Reese. Did you catch anything last night, mate? Or am I going to watch your video later? Okay, Al. You haven't missed much. I lost my camera. And the bait keeps getting stripped. Really? Wow, oh, I wouldn't mind losing the hook, mate. I lost the camera. The hooks are cheaper than cameras. Yes, I did, Earl. Because stupid me, I had a Trident Tackle Termalink clip. I forgot they can slip off. Never mind. 
I've learnt my lesson. Because what I was doing, I'd actually set up a, a rig that was foolproof, but stupid me went and put a um, a three hook flapper above it, and I hadn't thought about that before I came down here, so I just put it on and chucked it out. But yeah, if I'd thought about it, I would have realised that it didn't have a closed clip on the end. But that's typical me. Two watching and bad news. What was the bad news then, mate? All right, mate. Well, you can send a text now. It's the new rod, yeah. It's the uh, Ron Thompson Axe. I thought I'd give it a go. I thought I'd come down here because the tide rushes down here. I thought it would be a good test for it. But it doesn't seem to be a test for it at all. All it's been a test for coming down here is my stupid brain. Earl, I won't be able to get that camera back because there was no line attached to it. Actually, there was. There was one hook, a short one hook, sort of. Hello, Scott. There was a short one hook flapper, sort of, attached to it. But here, with the tide, like I say, it'll soon get covered. Hey, we live and learn. Or if your name's Martin Bedford, you don't. You live and forget and then, oops. I've done that before, I should have remembered that. Oops, done that before, I should have remembered that. Oops, done that before, I should have remembered that. Yeah, you get it? Yeah, they are nice, strong rods. That's uh, why I bought it, Earl, for when I tour. So I thought I'd just test it out. Oh, yeah, thank you. You've reminded me about something. I need to do it on the uh, video. I forgot to say when I was setting up, it definitely has a sliding reel seat on it. I adjusted it yesterday to the right length for me. So that's another massive positive for it. And after today, the bite detection as well. I was amazed about the bite detection, considering it's such a, a, such a stiff rod. It showed the bites up nicely when I was getting some bites. And it even showed up crab bites. So I'm looking forward to catching some nice big fish on this. Because it feels like it's going to handle the big fish perfectly right. Yeah, that's funny, look. Just over there. There's a guy. With some diving stuff. Should have paid him to go out there. Mind you, no idiot would go out there in that tidal pool. And he'd never be able to find it anyway. No, another one's gone to the great Nikon god in the sky. Well, it's not a Nikon. But... Ugh. Okay, the worms are slowly getting used up. Probably end up being here for another hour, I expect, if that. It all depends on the tidal pool. It all depends whether I catch anything, get any more bites. 
whether the bike runs out, what time it is, whether I hear from Mrs. B, etc, etc. Thank you, George. Scott, anything? I was just trying out that rod. Well, I'll say anything, I don't want another crab. I had some bites on the flood. Yeah, high tides in 20 minutes. I haven't got a buggy, Dave. Just got a bike. It's not an electric bike anymore, it's a fixie. I do use it sometimes. But we haven't got a car now. So I'll have to use it a bit more, I think.
Is it Scott? Yeah, well, you're a long way from us, aren't you? And it varies, as obviously, as you go around the country and up and down and wherever. Yeah, it's a good idea, Gordon. Yeah, lucky Earl. It's not very sunny down here. Right. Time for the second part of my snack, if I can find it. Well, hello, a bit cold out there. When you're tucked in, in your bivvies, you soon forget how cold it is, don't you? Back of the crisp, then I'll try and change the bait, I think.
Yeah, the biv the bivvy's fine. Scott. Protecting me from the wind. So, I'm guessing all those baits will be stripped. Haven't seen any bites or anything. That tail's a picture of the top bait hasn't been touched, but the bottom two baits have gone. I don't need the camera to tell me, do I? So uh, maybe I won't rush back here if it's so, so, um, so what I want, crabby. Like I say, I know further up it is, just up there, quarter of a mile. It doesn't seem snaggy out here though, so I don't know what the crabs are hiding behind. What have I got? Oh, I've got three ups on here. Yeah, I've got a few more chucks left. I've had a message from Mrs. B. She's at home, so I don't have to rush now. Let's put a load of worms on this up. Well, I say a load. Put a few on, it might um, show some interest or something, or, oh, I don't know. These baby squid are very difficult to use. They're so small. I've only used it to strip up. Yeah. <laughs> Throws the scissors away, why don't I? Where do they go? And with it being baby squid, it's very thin as well.
How are we doing on the old battery up here? 34%, so it's going down slowly. Cheerio Steve, have a good lunch. No, Paul, nothing yet. Just had, I had a crab earlier. Nine to one likes, thank you, people.
Hello, sorry. I had a crab earlier, and that was it. Ninety three were likes and one dislike. And fifty six watching. Thank you, people. Haven't you got anything better to do with your day? Hello, why aren't you watching the tip? Sorry, I didn't know realise it had moved. Not that there's anything to see. I had some bites earlier. A lot of seagulls on the surface over there. Must be some scum around at high tide. Because it's slack water now. Yeah, you can see there's not much movement in the tide out there. Chance for the fish to rush along and find my bait. Not. Nothing, Joe, just a crab. If it was a month later, I would have hooked it up and chucked it back out. For the smooth hounds. Now I'm quite liking this rod. I thought it was going to be a lot stiffer than it is. But all in all, it's just what I wanted. A rod I can rely on for um, chucking out a big bait in some rough ground. So I wonder if this mark only fish is really better from the low tide up for three hours. Because that's when I was getting all my bites, wasn't it? When I've, just after I got here. That three to four hour point. Which a lot of people call the golden hour, but... Yes, Paul, it is. It's the Ron Thompson Accelerator. I thought I'd bring it out here and have a go with it. So I was giving some bait yesterday and I thought, you know what, if I go down to the, the run, I reckon it would be a good test for it. And I can't say it's tested it. Because it's just been chucking it out and bringing it in. Oh, thank you, Lisa. That's very kind of you. It casts brilliantly, Paul. I had a combination of stuff on earlier, which made it eight ounce, with four flappy hooks on, and it chucked it out all right. Didn't go too far, but it went far enough. And then when I lost my camera, 
I went down to three hooks with a six ounce instead of a combination that made it eight ounce. And it's chucking out a lot longer. A lot further, should I say. I was quite surprised how well it is casting, to be honest. With it being as stiff as it is, this gives me a brilliant indication for when I want to um, put a big bait on it, that I know you don't have to just drop it over the side, you can chuck it out. I think that's my next thing to try. I was thinking about um, chucking out a big bait on it <coughs> and seeing, but then I had this thought of coming here with these worms that I was kindly given, and I thought, well, let's stick flappers on it instead. Plus, I can stick the camera out and see if any fish come along to eat them. Well, something came along, but I'll never see it now. You know what, this way, if I chuck out as many cameras as I have been, somebody's bound to pick one up one day and say, oh look, I know who this belongs, belongs to. They might um, return it. You never know. We live in hope. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Lisa. Well, like I say, the tide's going to be on the turn soon and it rushes out of here like a blooming drain. You know what it's like when you pull your plug out in the bath? It's like that here, except it doesn't go around in circles. It absolutely heaves out when it goes out the harbour. Rachel. No. Bad luck today. I lost my camera and caught a crab. But hey, have you pulled? No, Tommy, only a crab. I'll pull this bait, bait in soon and have another go. Afternoon, is it cold out there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Got you? Use this anchor? Ah, oh, that's right. Well, on the 29th, you can stay overnight, can't you? And on the 12th, you can travel, I think. Two more likes. Why, well, how many does that make? Wow, good grief. What are we doing with 97 likes today? I was saying to Reese the other day, what's this with everybody saying, get 100 likes on your streams? It doesn't do anything, I don't think. It's just a little milestone, isn't it? Really? Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Raggy. All I needed now is a fish. Or my camera to come back. Hello, Bill. You all right, mate? Thank you, Skyquake. Well, it is a bit calm for us, because we're all under the shelter here. I don't know where the fish are. Hello, Mr. Raggy.
Yes, you're right, George. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate your support. It's only little old me. Don't know why people like watching it, but they do, so... It's up to you lot, isn't it? That's all I do, is take my camera with me when I go fishing. It all depends, Paul, what time of year it is. During the summer, you can catch loads of bream here and mackerel. And bass, and congers, and dogfish, and I've seen somebody caught a ray here, and I've heard that somebody caught a nice big smooth hound a couple of times here, but not here, down by the um, jetty over there. And on the jetty, you can catch lots of little fish over there, wrasse, um, long sides, long spine skis, uh, blah blah. Long spine sea scorpions, baby pouting, baby pollock. Um, well, nobody seems to catch them, but there's mullet that live under the pipes there. Uh, I've seen some bass caught off there. Lots of small bass uh, and a couple of big ones. Well, big, three to five pounds. One of them on a Toby lure, which was uh, at high tide, which was a surprise. Nah, Paul, nothing. I had a crab earlier and that was it. I had some bites that looked a bit fishy. I was gonna look on the camera and then the next cast, it, it came off the rig. Well, it came off the clip, should I say. I didn't know those turbo leaks that they'd slip off so easy. Because you have a turbo, turbo link down on the roto clip. Does that mean it can slip off the roto clip as easy? Yeah, I've never been a fan of it, so I was just using up the stuff on some flapper rigs. Like I say, I didn't think to myself about putting a flapper rig on the uh, camera rig, that it would come off. I spent way too many hours thinking about the camera rig and making sure that didn't come off, and then, lo and behold, clicked a stupid clip onto it, and bang, it comes off. Maybe they're going to shut it down, Mr. Raggy. All right. Looks like the clouds, the clouds are getting a bit thicker. I must be due to... Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's some rain coming in. I must be due to... Um, was it Paul? Thanks very much, Bill. No, I'm all right, mate. Must be time to check the bait soon, I think. Not heard anything about it, useless angler. I don't know if it's open yet. Do you live down here then? Don't know who lives around here. Oh, uh, that's the point. Uh, what's this battery doing? Let's have a look. Pull that down and it says uh, blah blah. I can't see. It looks like 33. So it is going slowly. It was on 40 when I started with this um, thing on it power pack so it's not charging it but it's discharging incredibly slowly so that's cool so that is flat water I don't know if you can see how fl flat water oh, okay useless anchor me I was born in Southampton there you go look Look how flat it is now. I don't know if you can see that, but the 
the tide's not rushing in or out, it's just sat there. There's no back eddies, no nothing. But uh, they're just waiting for somebody to pull the plug out and then woof, it'll go rushing out. And um, sort of not fishable, particularly. Not off the jetty, anyway. Oh, you can fish it going the other way for a couple of hours. Because obviously it will be rushing out and taking your, your line with you. And I've seen people catch some big bass doing that. But generally all the um, pleasure fishermen come off the jetty as soon as the tide turns. Yeah, it's difficult if you live in Andover. I have to pop down the A34. And the first place you get to is Southampton. Unless you turn right and head down towards Chessel. I suppose you could do that. There's not really any big roads that go from Andover down to Dorset is there? You'd have to go cross country really. And like I say, if you come down the A34, when you hit Southampton, you either turn left or right, and it's much the same. And they're also one way or the other to get, you know, you could go down to the Bournemouth beaches. There's some good spots down there for rays and stuff. The occasional turbot in place and everything. Or well, you could come this way, go over to Selzy. Over. But, um. Hello, what's going on? One phone's buffering, but the other isn't. Maybe I could try the this accelerator. What was I just talking about? Oh, yeah, Selzy. See if I can get a big um, conger in on it. Yeah, that's it, Mr. Sanger. But lucky me living here. Mind you, the fishing's terrible around here because of the Solent and the channel. Not really the channel, it's just the Solent. It gets hammered. And then so does round the Isle of Wight as well, so... We get all sorts of, you know, super trawlers and ordinary trawlers and... Trawlers and there's so much fishing and pollution that goes on around here. We're lucky to get any fish at all, really. A bit like me today. Had a couple of bites. Right, I'm going to bring that in. The tide's starting to move the other way now. So I'm going to bring that rod in. You might as well watch me do it. Actually, I'll do it over that way. I'll do it just here, look. And um, I'll bring that rod in. Let's see about chuck it out. See if I can't make it my last cast. Load it up. Oh, that feels heavy. Oh, see me. Yeah, loads of seaweed. Oh, well, here we go. Let's test out the Von Tobbs accelerator then. I'm stuck. Great. It's moving. Go on. Yeah, lost that. Not broke then. 
こと Have I got a click? Or have I just got end of line? What have I got? Looks like end of line. How did the bride snap? I mean, really? Uh, I must have been on a rock or something then. Oh well. See, now that's the problem. If that happens here, on rough ground, oh yeah, you've got to have some... Um, them clips on it. I might as well chuck out another rig and I use the bait up. What we got here? Oh, this blooming stupid four. The four jobber rig, that'll do. Oh, this was the one that had the genie clip on it. So, let's stick a weight on. If I lose a weight, I lose a weight. Chuck it out. Fill these hooks up with worms. Wow, that wind's cold. Now with the current running, let's sacrifice another six ounce then. No, 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 I didn't mean it. I'm not sacrificing it. I'm not throwing it out for no reason at all. I'm still trying to catch a fish. Yeah, rotten bottom clips, that's what I was thinking about. You've got to have a rotten bottom set up when you're rough ground fishing. But this isn't rough ground, it's not meant to be. But there's a occasional rock out there, of course there is. And there's the occasional underwater camera as well. So there's one here, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. I guess by now the water would have got into the cameras and ruined the um, cards anyway, so if anybody ever finds them, I'll probably not find anything on the card. Would be lovely to see some feedback though, some, um, not feedback, some film. Oh, I've only got short snoods on this one. Oh well. One on there. Probably going to go in the swaddy anyway. I hate Americanisms. Only simply because I believe you should use your terms from the country you're in, you know. There's nothing wrong in using terms from elsewhere. God knows I use enough of them. So I didn't mean any, any offence to any of you, uh, goddamn Americans. Me, I don't give a monkey's where you're from, or what your creed, race, religion, colour, hue, belief, orientation, anything. You're a person on this planet just like me. Right. It's starting to move the other way now. The seagulls have got off the water. They're not stupid. Unlike me, who is. Do you know what? I can't be bothered to tip with squid. 
So I'm just going to chuck these out. I better do a bit to camera as well because I haven't done that for a while. So I was just bringing the, uh, the last rig in and it snagged up. Tried in vain to get it out. Put a lovely bend in the rod. But I had to pull to break it. So I'm chucking it out. Four right. For the last lot of worm on. The tide's turned, so I don't know if this will hold. Let's give it a chuck anyway. That was rubbish. Total rubbish. I released way too late. If we got any worms left. Yeah, they're all good. All right, come another guy. All right, look up, Martin. Up there. That's better. Right, that's the last cast then. Baits in the water. So we'll give this a soak and then call it a day. It's already later than I thought I was going to stay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh yeah, you should be watching the rod for this big fish that's going to come in.
Yeah, it's not doing anything, is it? Ah, now the walker walker coming over. Yeah, that scared the geese up in the air. Thought they'd been gone by now. I expect some of them have already headed north. They've normally gone by the uh, the last week in March. Mrs. B says you can normally uh, guarantee on the 23rd they've gone. Our, um, what we call the goose field behind us, which is a sanctuary for them, that opens on the 1st of April anyway. They've always gone by them. Nature, it's incredible. How the hell do they know? I know, it's all to do with pressure and times and latitudes and magnetism and blooming warmth. Probably temperature of the water has got something to do with it as well and everything. Well, looks like I'm not going to catch a fish today then. I'm not surprised. I was hopeful for something, but I'm not surprised. It was more about getting the camera out again and testing out the rods. So I've certainly put the camera out there again. And I've tested the rod, and we've snagged up on the rod, so I was able to see the bend on it. So that's cool. All in all, well pleased with that rod. Should do me fine. Just got to catch some fish on it. Yes, Paul, exactly. I have tried the rod out, haven't I? And I've got out and had another fish and done another live session and done a video. It's my little treat for the day. Andrew, I have no idea what I'm doing for the rest of the week. Fancy doing some some more fishing sometime. But we've got the weekend coming up. I don't like fishing over the weekend too much. Too many people around. You get the sun worshippers, you get the kids on the beach, you get loads of other people fishing. The warmer it gets, the more come out. Me, I'd like... There you go, the two guys on the, on the pier are packed up. Like I say, you can't really fish it. Go the other way. My lead's gripping for the moment. But it is my last cast.
Up north, John Biff. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea, Paul. Right, let's look at the battery power on this beast. Excuse me. Uh, that says 31%. So, yeah, that's going to be fine for now. And this one's on 57%, so that's fine. At 14.55, that's fine. Means I'll be home in time for tea. Come on, a last cast fish, or a last cast massive bite, or something. Just no more crabs! We're having sausages, Lisa. This blooming mod tip's dead as a door now, isn't it? Like I say, I always think there's a good chance of getting a fish if you can get into some deeper water around here. Which is why I came here. And we did have some bites earlier. I'm certain that some of them... Hello, Ian. I'm certain that some of them were a fish anyway. They have that vibration to them that you don't get with crabs. Never mind. We didn't catch. We lost the camera. We got out. We fished. And I spoke to all you lot. Which is great. I love all my subscribers. I hope you're all keeping safe anyway. I guess most of us would have had the jab by now. Or like some of us were saying earlier, in the next few days. We all seem to be at that age, don't we? Oh look, there's a man fishing. Yeah, it's me. I don't want to move now though. Because outside of my bivvy, it's a bit windy and cold. That braid, Paul. 65 pound braid, mate. Thank you, Lisa. Yes, it certainly did, Ian. Thank you, mate. If you're talking to me, that is. Yep, yeah, it's picking up, going out. It's 
there's a little bit of sand's uncovered here. My rods, well, the um, weight hasn't moved. I'll say it's a six ounce. Well, yeah, I lost a six ounce, didn't I? How did I lose a six ounce? Oh, yeah, snagged. So I'm one weight, uh, two weights down. Two weights and a uh, underwater camera down. And one crab up. Ha! Ah, uh, yeah, but I've been out fishing. That's what matters. You can just feel all the troubles just oozing away when you're out here. Well, normally. Where do you live then, Ian? Are you local? Yeah, it is play season. I've had two so far this year. I haven't thought about what I'm going to do next, though. All right. Fair Oaks not far away, is it? If you're at Fair Oak, wouldn't you want to travel down to Brighton where there's a uh, much more place and bigger place than, than we've got here? We only get the occasional few come through. I'm sat on the edge of my box staring at that tip all the time. It's not moving, is it? One of those days then, eh? You still on here, Reese? Or are you too busy catching fish? Yeah, it does end, doesn't it? Problem is, I don't think there's many places to park around Langley Point. Especially not in a bloody great big camper van. Motor home, call it what you will. Which is the only thing uh, we've got that we can go any distance in. Yeah, we gave our car to Charlie for work, by the way, once he moved. Thank you, Michael. That's kind of you, mate. Yeah, it is, isn't it, Ian? When I did my tour to uh, Pevensey Bay, we came back that way. There was loads of people fishing on Langley Point, both sides. But we had a mose around anyway. As we do when we're in the van, having a mose around to see places to park and places to visit, places to fish and everything. Right, you know what? Thank you very much, Lisa. Uh, all right, Bill. Yeah, as I was saying, um, I think I'm going to call it a day now and bring the rod in and pack up and go home. There'll be nothing to show you. But I'm going to uh, call it a day now.
We'll bring it in. Back up and go on. Well, there you go. Bait's are all stripped. So needless to say, that's me really done. Oh really? Bait's all stripped. So without further ado, as I was saying, probably is I'm going to put the shelter down and go out in the cold now. Thanks, John. Thanks for all your support, especially for the mods as well. Thank you, Skyquake. I certainly will, mate. Go home and do some thinking, me thinks. Cool, it is a bit cold out here. Right, that's going to be cut off there. I don't have any scissors, where have any scissors? Scissors, scissors, scissors. Hang them down amongst that and then I'll put them somewhere else and then I'll go and put them in. Oh no. I thought I moved them over from there to there. Are they even wrapped up in the newspaper? No. They're not down there. They've got to be... Ah, there they are. I found the scissors. I found them, I found them. Great cut off. Seaweed off of the weight. Weight off the rig. <sighs> Do you know what I hate packing up for me fishing? why I'd all be just chuck it all in a bucket and say I'll oh, leave it till I get over and then leave it to the next day. I bet I'm not the only one either. Right, what's going on now?
that one goes in there, that one goes next to it, that goes to the left, that goes down the side, that goes inside. Fish, bash, bosh. That goes down there. Those two come out. Go into the rod bag. Oh, get in. Get in. Yeah, not a big fan of this rod bag that came with the Von Thompson, but hey. I want it all. I want it all. And I want it now. Well, there we go then, I had a fish. No, I didn't have a fish, I had a fishing session. I didn't mean I caught a fish, you didn't see. Why is there a boat going out now? Late in the afternoon, it's gonna be getting dark, tide's ebbing, and there's a boat going out. Mind you, it's a pleasure boat, it's not a fishing boat. Right, a few lot of decks. Take you off of that. Take you off of that. You will go in there. Right everybody, time to say your goodbyes then. Eh? Let's just take this thing off of there. Put that in there. I can't see your comments anymore. Cheerio Michael. Thank you John Biff. Come on you last 32. Time to go. That's all right, John Biff. That's perfectly all right, mate. 32, time to go and somebody else logs on. Go on, I need to put you in my pocket so I can get my uh, bivvy down. Why, it's there still 30, oh, 31 of you. I'm going to have to uh, end the stream then, peeps. Hang on, let's get that one out of the way there. Like you got there, you go that way. All right, people. Thanks for watching me. See you all later. That's me done.